And as you can see here, the more we're working at this, the more that these people are just kind of gone. And look at that, that's looking real nice. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys three different methods on how to remove anything from your pictures in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right here, I just have an example of a picture in Photoshop. And let's say, you know, you're this couple right here, you know, your friend took a picture of you, looks really nice. And you also have all these people in the back, they're photobombing, how dare they? And we have these guys over here, and one of them's even drinking some alcohol. Not cool. That's not cool. We want to get rid of this and we want to get rid of these people. So how do we do that? All right, so here is the first method on what you can do to remove things in Photoshop. What you need to do is if you go all the way up here to the left by this lasso tool, select that. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click and drag over the people or whatever it is in the photo you want to get rid of. All right, so so far we're going to get rid of these people right here to start. Once you have that selected, you're then going to want to right click and you're going to want to hit fill. Once you do this, you're going to want to then hit OK. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to take the pixels around that selection and identify how to fill that selection so that it blends in with the rest of the image. Now you're going to notice that some of the image didn't blend in that well because we have these buoys right here and they're kind of disappearing in the back. And that's okay. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that later on. So next what we want to do is we want to delete this person right here as well. All right. So I'm just going to circle around them and then I can right click and do fill again. Hey, that's pretty good. And this time you'll notice that the buoy actually showed up, which is awesome. So it does depend on what selection you're doing in the image and it's going to be different for every use case. So just keep that in mind. All right. So now I want to show you guys the second method and how to remove anything from your picture. So if you go all the way here to the left to this patch tool right here and you select it, then what you want to do is if you didn't have something selected already, you can do so. So if let's say this wasn't selected, I can just click and drag over this right here. Pretty much identical to what I was doing before. And then like so, and then how you get rid of the, these people from this picture is all you have to do is click and drag. Okay, that's pretty cool too. To the section of the image that you want to fill that selection. So right now I'm going to choose this area right here because it looks like it might blend the nicest. So I'm gonna try this and I'm actually going to make it like so, all right. Then I'm going to deselect that. And now you're going to notice this part right here is looking a little wonky. So we can also select that, then move this over a little bit. We could even move it this way as well. Maybe we'll do that. All right. So now that looks like it's blending in a lot better. We can also do that with this person right here. All right. We're just going to click and drag. And there you go. All right, so this is looking pretty good, but I want to show you guys the third option that you can use in order to make this look even cleaner. So if you go all the way here to the left where there's a clone stamp tool, click on that. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on a section of your picture that you want to clone. So let's pick this area right here and make sure you're holding now alt while you do this and then just click. Then if you move your brush over a little bit, you're going to see that it's mimicking this section right here. OK, so we're just going to drag this like so. And if we want more of this section, we can go back and hit alt and click and then do some more. And look at that. That's looking real nice. Yes. Very nice. And then we can even do this section. And just mind you that wherever you click, that's the area that's going to get cloned. And then wherever your mouse is, it's going to take wherever that area is and move it around. So as you can see, you can like take all this, all these different parts of the image, wherever that arrow is, that's the part of the image you're taking. And then wherever your brush is, that's where it's getting painted in. OK, now here we have these people right here, and this might be a little bit more complex of a task. So let's say we are trying to remove these people because we still want to have these people in here. OK, a couple of options. We could go with the first option, a lasso tool. So we could try and do this. So I'm going to try and select them right now. Maybe we'll try these two people first. And mind you, you want to get as close as possible to selecting these people because the more content you grab and I'll show you guys right now, let's say you just made it 
a very big circle and then you did fill. It's not gonna be as clean as if you have it super tightly compact around those people precisely to fill the content around it because it's gonna like not be able to detect that well as to what to fill that selection with. Now, if you wanted to get super detailed with it, your selection, you could go all the way up here to this magic wand tool and then click on quick selection. And then what this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to click on these people more precisely and you can just hold down shift in order to select all those people. And then all you have to do is hold down shift in order to add more to the selection. Let's say you messed up right there. You can hit the alt button and that's going to allow you to subtract from your selection until you are happy with the entire selection. Now let's try and right click this and do a fill. So if I right click, do fill, content aware. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Not terrible, but also not the best. So let's undo that real quick. And now let's try another method. So we have the lasso tool, so we could go around them like so, all precise. This probably also is not gonna be the best method for this one, but let's try it. This guy is really having fun over here. All right, and we'll do fill. Let's see if, how that works. Mm, okay, not terrible. So it filled it pretty well. Now, if we wanna clean this up some more, we can just use a combination of a bunch of different items. We could use the stamp tool. And then what we could do is if we select this area right here, we can just start clone stamping in the pavement. And then you could also make your brush bigger if you use brackets. So let's say you want to clone stamp this right here and maybe like so. And then you can just kind of smooth it in. And another thing that you can also do is if it's kind of looking not so natural, Lower the brush a little bit, lower the flow a little bit and the opacity, make it a hundred. And then you do this like so, this will kind of have a more blended look and feel. All right, and you'll just notice that I'm clicking more than once alt in certain locations because as I'm getting closer to these sections, it's not looking like it's filling as nicely. So I just go back to the area I wanna fill and then it's nice. And then our part is we could also smooth this up a little bit more. So if we wanted to clean this part up right here, we could select this and then I'm just gonna get rid of this part right here and then click and drag just so it's a little bit more precise. All right, nice. And you'll notice that it's not gonna be perfect all the time, but as long as you can get it close, that's always, that's always a win. All right, and let's try and smooth this up a little bit. And there you go. So let's say it's looking still not natural. You can always smooth it out some more. You could, you know, make this flow a lot less. Select right here, then be clicking and dragging over this. Try and smooth it out the best you can. And the more you work at it, the more natural it'll probably look, which is awesome. Okay, so there we go. And then if you wanna get rid of that puddle, you could also, you know, Go for it if you just want to make the stock look really nice. And as you can see here, the more we're working at this, the more that these people are just kind of gone. All right. And anything really that you want to get rid of, you could even get rid of all these buoys if you wanted to. You can just go like that. My favorite, to be honest with you guys, is the clone stamp tool just because it allows you to have the most control as to what you're trying to put where, which is awesome. All right. So there you go. Look at that. All right, so that is three different methods that I like to use to remove anything from a photo in Photoshop. If you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. Also, if you are interested in learning more things about PowerPoint, even though I know this is a Photoshop tutorial, I do have a course on Udemy, so I have a link to that in the description below. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.